Greetings everyone, this is White Falcon Place, and welcome to the Vault of the Void. This is a deck building roguelite, developed and published by Spider Nest Games. Still in early access, so there'll be things changing, but it seems to be uh, getting overwhelmingly positive reviews. Um, so, let's jump in and have a look, should be interesting. Going this completely blind, so we probably shouldn't go into a possible, which we can't, it's good. Introduction for new players. First floor only on a smaller modified map set up to help with learning the mechanics. Choose your starting deck. Uh, bleed or blades? Let's go blades. A key is to show overview. Cloaked in shadows. Unseen the hidden strike without warning. Okay, we get to see them both. Uh, deal five damage opener. If at combo zero, combo one. Okay. Block five, purge, block two. What's purge? Combo one, deal five damage. If the target is attacking, apply one weaken. And then we got bleeds, deal four damage, add a silent shiv to your hand. Block six plus one for each bleeding enemy. Lick the knife, combo one. Apply bleeding five. All right, here we go. Let's go. Blade. Hallway of the Lost. Where are we starting here? We get to choose between these two, it looks like. Yeah, okay. So we can do a mob. It's removed from battle. What? Two cards from your deck. Expel. After clearing the stream, you'll have a chance to upgrade a card. These are your standard combat encounters. We're going straight into an elite fight. Can't get the chest if we do. The Forsaken. Those who wander this domain for too long will inevitably become forsaken. One way or the other, these desperate souls have found this fate. A well-rounded fight, but you must still be wary of letting them buff their AP too many times. Okay, fight reward, expel two cards from your deck. Okay, well that's... Okay. Not sure what's going on here. Cards. All cards in Vault of the Void have an energy cost. Shown in the top left corner. You'll start each fight with three energy. And gain two every turn. The color of the circle will denote what type of card it is. Red attack, blue ability, and green buff. Drag card from your hand to play it. Mm. Depending on uh, my air conditioner there. Alright. We've got 8 health. Essence of protection. Fortify 2 to all. Attack. Inflict 2 threat. Deal 5 damage. Game 1 combo. Uh, plus 1 energy purging cards. Bolt of the Void combat centers around purge mechanic. Choosing which cards to play and which to purge for energy is key and keeps combat moving quickly. Let's purge a card now. Mouse over a card and hold the right mouse button to purge a card from your hand, sending it to your discard pile and granting you one energy. Oh, if we purge, we get two block. I see, that's what that means. We're on one combo. Combo. Swift cards will trigger X times where X is the... Equal to your combo. Attack swift. Okay. Combo resets after triggering. Will that trigger it? Will that? Well, should we attack her? I want to take this guy out there. 16. It will. 10. 10. What's this do? Vulnerable. Suffers 50% more damage. I think we take out the threat. But, maybe not, because we're going to gain two armor anyway. Okay, battle progression. Progress. To stop enemy reinforcing, you must fill the battle progress orb. Each enemy will add a different amount to the orb. Filling an orb to 100% will stop the creatures reinforcing. What? The battle, or, the, the battle progress orb 
is the rightmost orb on your threat stack. Mouse over an enemy to see how much they'll add to the orb. Click to hold to dismiss. Okay, so they will add... So it'll be completely full, is that good? So when we kill an enemy, this goes down. And if it's not at 100% when you're... I don't know, we'll find out. Energy and cards. Cards in your hand will never be discarded automatically, meaning you can carry them to the next turn. Whoops. Also, your energy will carry across turns. It can often be a good idea to purge cards in your hand to set up a nice energy pool for next turn. Ooh, okay. Enemy turn. It's now the enemy's turn to act. You can see an enemy's intent on their card. You can mouse over it for more details. The AP is shown in the blue circle. Oh, yeah. Whoops. We're in. Threat. Blocking and damage. Enemies inflict threat, which is added to your threat stack shown below. I don't know. This is where you can play block cards to reduce current threat. Block is played reactively after an enemy has attacked. What? If you have no threat, then played block then playing block is wasted. This usually means that during your first turn, you won't have to block at all. Any leftover threat when you end your turn will be removed from your HP. Huh. Well, that's different. So we've got four threat. So we can use this, and that reduces all our threat. What? How can we get another guy back? Okay. This is interesting, isn't it? Combo one. So this guy's dead. We can combo. Swift cards will trigger X times. So this will do 10 damage. But now we don't have any energy left. Okay, so then we get no reinforcements. So we want to remove that again. What's this do? Casting your spell. Oh, each class comes with its own unique spell. Cast your spell any time it's off cooldown by clicking your spell button below next to your energy. As you progress, you'll unlock more spells to choose from. Combo 1, add one hidden blade to your hand. Can't be purged, destroy it after being played, discard it, discard it or at the end of your turn. Swift cards are balanced, benefit from combo, does not consume it. Deal 3 damage, balance violate. Oh. So, oh, we didn't get combo. If combo 0, combo 1. How come that didn't work? So, why isn't that combo going up? Combo resets after... If at combo zero... Oh, opener. Opener. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight. We got them. Perfect victory. Okay, getting some of it. Victory, your rewards are listed below. 60 essence, 1 souls. 15 essence bowman, bonus for a perfect fight. 1 upgrade point. And we can expel 2 cards from our deck. Control to upgrade. Okay. You found 1 or more upgrade point. Choose which card to upgrade from your deck. Or backpack before proceeding. Control to upgrade. Well, that's cool. Deal 7 damage if the target is attacking. Apply 1 weak and 1 vulnerable. Or gain 8 block. 4 block. Rebound. Shift to zoom. 
I don't know what rebound means. Goes back to your hand. You can make as many combos as you want with the mana. All right, let's upgrade this one. Managing your deck. You just want to fight and picked up a new card you can add to your deck. Cards aren't automatically added and you'll need to go and add them uh, to the new card to your deck. Click the deck manager button at the bottom to do it. Okay. This is your deck. You have the ability to change and edit your deck at any time. As you become more familiar with encounters, adjusting your deck before a fight will become critical. You must have 20 cards. Certain cards like potions and afflictions don't count toward the limit. Your backpack. As you progress through the map, you'll earn and buy new cards. These will be added to your backpack. You can add them to your deck by clicking it. Oh my goodness. As you damage creatures, you'll earn points towards new void stones. So we were dealing them before. You can be socketed into cards to give them new powers. Drag void stones from your collection on the right and drop them on the cards in your backpack or deck to infuse them with new powers. What? Block four. Reduce current threat. So if I add that to that, it'll create a block. Expel two cards from your deck. Expel. Move from battle. Okay, so you might want to use that if people have got crap stuff in your deck. Okay. Socket void stone. Are you sure you wish to socket unhanded tactics with a yellow void stone? So will destroy any void currently. Okay. I don't know. Alright, it is in the deck, I think. Let's take out a slash. Put a thinning. I don't know. Use them for mana. Okay. Happy with that. Now we've got a fight. And we can't get up there. Mob rooms. These are standard combat encounters. Draw three. If an attack is drawn, gain one energy. You can no longer draw this turn. Here in the Voyage Domain, even the vegetation is abhorrent, as all else. Instead of light, these hateful plants thrive amidst the pollu pollination of foul corruption. An aggressive fight with creatures that can both stack poison and increase their own frenzy. It can get tough to withstand their attack for long. Kill them quickly. Okay. Greenhouse of Corruption. 22. Just a few more things about threat. Once an enemy attacks and inflicts damage to your threat stack, it's there to stay. Even if you defeat the creature, you'll still have to deal with the threat. Combat is a fast-paced, swirling mess. If a creature attacks, you have to block. The only exception is to that, as if oh, the only exception to that is if you manage to kill all creatures and clear the room, ending the fight, representing your ability to escape from danger in the nick of time. To get that final a final kill on the last creature dodging a good chunk of damage you do so okay makes sense i have a lot of shields which are not going to help me at all but we can gain one we can gain some uh, mana maybe we'll keep one or two sorry just notice you still have a few cards in your hand remember vault isn't like other card games, it's often better to purge most of your hand at the end of your turn to gain extra energy to fill the next turn. Although this is an automatically generated message, so you may very well have a plan to place. Please ignore me if so. I thought, okay, let me just get rid of another one then. Doesn't that stay in our hand? Oh. I didn't realize he would go away. Okay. Suffer threat equal to poison at the start of your turn. Reduces one by your turn. Ooh. At the start of your turn, you will lose energy equal to your stun value. You move at the end of your turn. Okay. So how come... That guy that I was killing just disappeared? This will do 10 damage. Oh, because of the threat? It swapped out? So now we can get a combo and do another 10.
then we can uh, remove this and gain more energy. So they'll spawn two new guys each time until this is 100%. Alright. So I guess I'll just kill another one. It's now at 100% so nothing else will spawn. How long for? What's this? Carnivorous. At the start of- Oh! Consume the leftmost gr gloom shroom. Increasing its frenzy by one. Will not increase the battle progression bar. Okay. So we can get combo if we do an opener. What's this do? That's a swift, so it will do double or something. So that's good. Oh yeah. This will do three times. 29 damage. Perfect fight. Two souls. Draw three. Okay. Moving along the map. When faced with a choice of tiles to move to, the tiles you do not take will be destroyed. Only exception is when you would do so would be leave you with an, out an exit. Okay. The move will become second nature pretty quick and learning to eke out every bit of value from the map can give you a run, a solid boost. Oh, wait there. Oh, that's interesting. So we can go up here and then down. Uh, a chest with a choice of cards along with some essence, souls, and upgrade point. Well, that seems pretty damn good. Merchant. A lost soul who is given the thought of escape and instead tries to sell dubious goods at questionable prices. Minimum cost 100... That is pretty nice when it tells you the minimum cost of a card. Alright, do we put this... We got another one of these. Do we put this... In? Game one energy. Plus two to draw three. Which make which is yeah, it's better than anything, I guess. Um alright, take one of those out, put that in. And let's put a little socket in it. I don't know. Alright, let's go and get this thing. I've got to look at the shop, but it gets confusing, so we'll just do this. As you enter cards zoom past, whistling by your ear before stopping and presenting themselves before you. Each begging to be picked. You can't shake the feeling that opening the chest sitting in the corner is quietly swelling with pride. You also find scattered among its contents, four in essence, two souls, and an upgrade point. All right. Deal four damage or seven if the target is bleeding. Well, that's not going to be great for us. Block four, clot two, overcharge one. Reduce target's bleed by X. While you have overcharge... That chest is squeaking. While you have overcharge, you gain one extra energy each turn. Oh, goodness. Increases one, one per stack. Reduces one each turn. Okay, okay. Reduces targets. Is it you play on yourself? Apply vulnerable. Apply bleed equal to combined vulnerable, weak, and slow. I don't really want any of them. So I guess this is uncommon. Wow, that's pretty good if we do the bleed. Reduce target's bleed by X. Why would we want to do that? Alright, we'll, we'll grab that one. We can upgrade a card. What would happen if we upgraded this? Ah, gain two energy. Okay, there's a free, free one. I think this would be pretty good. Plan your path. You can change the color of a hex to help you with planning your path. What? Try it now. Right click any hex to color, circle its color. Ah. Oh. So we can go, alright, we want to go here, then we want to go there, then we want to go there, then we want to go there. That's pretty cool. Guardian. Alright. Next. Card tooltips. Upgrade. After clearing this room, you'll have a chance to upgrade a card. Suffers damage, like, they're going to make us bleed, are they? Oh, look, we're going to get a bleed card. I thought we weren't, I thought we were at daggers. Slowly creeping, moving from host to host. 
is this insidious infestation, an aftermath of the foulness that seeps through every crack of this hellish place. Three's creatures will become stronger rapidly as the fight goes on. Their infection cards will feed their strength. Right. The infestation. Sneak artist. Increase the count of the Increase the count on this item for every empty tile you visit. The first creature you directly attack each fight will suffer vulnerable X equal to this value. Alright, we can get a combo point. <laughs> Let's let's take the threat seems to be easier to deal deal with than these other things. Let's take out this guy. Uh, so this will deal a decent amount of damage, twenty two. And then we want to gain some mana, like discard pile. Wait, how many are we gonna draw? If I take away this, do we draw more? I don't know. I should count. I'll do that. I'll, I'll count how many cards we're going to have now. Alright, so we've got five cards here. Um, This is upgraded. We can rebound it. We can expel two. Did he just put something in my deck? Infections. Don't, don't pick at it. Unplayable. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this. Let's use this. We can destroy those two things. Oh, in our deck only. No, thanks. Can I cancel that? I want to get rid of these. Oh, damn it. Alright. Um, can't undo. So we're going to have to get rid of two things from our deck. Okay. Well, that is annoying. But you got to learn. Alright, so we can gain... We've done something already, so we can't open it anymore. It's red. So that sucks. But we can do this. We can then do this. We can do that. And then this will do 15. We can... Oh, oh rebounds only once. That makes sense. Okay. Alright. We, we might be able to kill one of them. Especially one with less health. Hundred percent. Nothing more will spawn. We'll take four damage, and they're going to infect us. I guess each turn. All right. No, we don't. We want to do one. Well, we want to do an opener. We could combo it to gain more. We can get one energy and do fifteen. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. How do we? What's this? How do we make that happen? What's this? Combo. Yeah, okay. Just purge all the rest of that. Okay, can't do much else. But this is still at 100%. I didn't 100% get what this does. That's pretty unlucky. Oh, we got this though. Which will, is luckily enough, will help us kill something. So we can do... Oh, it's only a one though. Wait, two combos. Three, six, nine. Nice. Alright. Alright, let us... Let's see if we get five cards plus this. Or if we just get five cards. Okay, so we get five cards... Including the one we kept. Don't pick at it. Unplayable. Violate. Can't be purged. Destroy it after being played. Discard or... Discard it or at the end of turn. So it's just, it just annoys us. We can't do anything with it. That's fair enough. Alright, it's not the opener anymore for some reason. But we'll do that. Hit that guy for 20. Gain an extra combo. And then hit him for 10. All right, uh, we can upgrade something else. Oh, we haven't upgraded that yet. Uh, make it cost zero. Combo points, not bad. 
get that up. We could increase the damage of a thing. Is what's this? Shrine, twisted, a twisted shrine, devoted to the worship of some being you'd rather not know about. A choice to heal, cleanse your deck, or avoid cards, or to gain some extra essence and souls. Void cards. We haven't got any of them, I guess, yet. I don't think we need the bleed. We don't really need that at the moment. It's not what we're going for. So we'll go here. Pray. Gain 500 essence. That's double what I've got. Seems good. Okay. The shrine towers before you. A dark motif of a misshapen evil sits cut into the stone along the crest. Eyes glow, calling to the stars. A chill perme permanent permeates the room. The sharp coolness given off by the liquid a distinct contrast to the darkness you've just come from. One prayer, one sip, you know you shouldn't. But in times of darkness, even the glow of the unknown can feel like salvation. Did it just say, why did you do that? <laughs> All right. Tougher fights. These encounters offer two souls and a choice of an elite artifact. You know, I can't say no. What is this for? Well, that's to buy stuff at the shop. Did we get a, a shard? No. And that is socketed. Alright, we could be in trouble here. Let's have a look. A flight reward. A random of three. Wow. Over the eons, the remains of the countless dead conjugate, weaving together and forming a construct wrought of broken bone and decay in flesh. Decaying. This unholy beast will get stronger every turn. 120 health. Okay. Easy. Oh. Three discarded items lay before you. Uh, every six ability cards played, rage 50%. Every fourth non-balanced swift attack played is balanced. Oh my gosh. Swift cards are balanced. Benefit from combo. I think pretty much all of ours do. Bleed triggers before enemy actions instead of after and doesn't reduce. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think we have to go with playbook. We'll have a look, but I think pretty much all of our cards are balanced. We can probably have a look here. Wait there. No, they're not. None of them are balanced. Wait, 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 wait. How do we get out of there? Every fourth non-balanced swift. What is... Swift cards that are balanced benefit from combo, but does not consume it. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get you. I get you now. Okay, this is what we want then. So that means that every fourth card, it will gain balance like our combo, like our special, which means it won't use these stacks and we can do it twice. All right, so let's uh, get our one combo. Then we'll hit him for 17, uh, 14. And make him weak and all the rest of it. Seems good for me. New void stone. You've earned a new void stone. Thank you. Well then. I think. Just gain a whole lot of energy. We're not going to get that much extra damage. Then it's going to do 6 threat. Vulnerable 3. Suffers 50% more damage. And it's weak. It reduces AP by 25% to a minimum of one. Reduces one each turn. Okay. So this... Oh, this AP that he's getting makes him deal twice the damage. Except that because we made him weak, he doesn't get that. Alright, we need to do this. Then we need to do this. We get our combo. We're going to combo twice. Pity that's not balanced yet. Alright, and we'll do that. And then we'll hit him for 32 damage. And then we will gain all our energy back. No worries. Oh. I didn't even know what that did. Feels like he did something to us, but I don't know what it was. Got dazed. All right, uh, it's not an open. Oh, you are at dazes are added to your top of your deck, unplayable. Huh? Why haven't we got an opener here? 
Or am I being silly and it will work? I'm going to check. Alright, well let's do this first because we've got three combos. That's a free attack. Well, this is definitely not going to be an opener now. But it's still a lot of damage. And now we can kill him. Elite fights. Okay. Alright, now we got we can either do an empty space, which gives us a bonus. Somehow, I've forgotten. Alright, what have we got? Green. Rigged. At the start of battle, or when reshuffled, goes on top of your deck. Wow. Let's put that on. Oh, I want to put it on this one. Do we? We could put it on quickness. Um, well, we could wait for something really good. I guess this is going to end it anyway. All right, let's uh, put it on quickness. All right, let's go for this guy. Hidden blade. And is that what he does to us? So that's just nothing. Why would we want to do nothing? The hounds of hell. Stalking in dangerous packs. These hellish hounds know only hunger. As their jaws gnash, gristle, and bone, they feast on the souls of their now damned prey. A balanced fight which requires you to apply damage quickly to avoid having your deck overrun with banes. We will gain an epic card, which is this turn when an enemy takes damage, apply bleed one and add hidden blade. Oh, cool. We'll do that. All right, what do we got? Howl, plus one AP to all. Whimper, add two Banes. Howl, plus one AP to all. Ignite, this enemy will deal two damage to whoever it is. It is the target of an attack card. Ooh. Whenever it is the target of an attack card. When this enemy is destroyed, all other enemies suffer weak three. Mm. All right, so we'll do this opener first. We could nearly kill this guy in one hit. So is this how much damage he's going to do as well? Or is that when he attacks us? I'm not sure. All right. Well, let's take out this guy. If we can. We gain one combo. And we gain... Three combos. Energy 32. 100%. If you take out the middle one, is it 100%? Or is it just because it's an elite battle or something? All right. That seemed to go quite well. Give me Banes. Don't Bane me. So we could do that if we get it out later. Okay. Alright, well, why isn't this an opener? We can kill this instantly. Or we can kill that instantly. There you go. Uh, should we keep this or not? I guess we'll keep it. Two threat. Alright, so... We do an opener. We don't even need to do too much. That's it. That is it. Alright, should we upgrade this card? Yeah. Boss fight. Here we go. Play 32 minutes. There we go. Skeleton King. Lord of Bones. Emperor of Dust. The Rattling Master. No matter the name he wears, he is ancient as he is cruel. And as eternal as the bones of all things. A fairly well-rounded fight with the ability to inflict fear. Killing his minions will heal the king himself. Hmm. So kill the minions first or just aim him? Okay. Fights against guardians are a little different. Often the guardian will have minions alongside them. If you manage to kill the guardian, their minions will automatically be destroyed and you win the fight. Okay. So you can either choose to kill the minions a lot and that'll give only 5% to this. Okay. Alright, let us see how much damage we can do to do the main dude. What's all this stuff? 
When this enemy is destroyed, it will heal the Skeleton King for 4 HP. Okay, it's not much. Defeating the center enemy will end the fight, killing all minions. Gaze of Death. Apply Fear 1 and Vulnerable Fear. After drawing, discard cards equal to your fear value. Ooh. Suffer 50% more damage, reduced by 1 each turn. Do we just try and smash down the middle boss? It's difficult to know. I think I think we could do a decent amount. Wait, are we becoming vulnerable because of that? I'm not sure. Oh, was that a fourth card or something? Okay. Uh, we're going to combo. We're going to combo. We're going to get rid of this card. And then we're going to hit for a lot of damage. New Void Stone unlocked. We're going to get a little bit more energy. And then we're going to get heaps of threat. And we're going to get feared. And things are going bad. So we have to get rid of one of these cards. Choose one card to discard. Alright, now we're going to... This is still an opener, so we probably should do this first. And then we will use this. Um, and... Grab this hidden blade. I guess do that first. And then we can do a decently big hit. We can gain energy. I think we just gained full energy. Is that a bad idea? Our next... Oh, darn it. Our next one's going to be free. Didn't work out. Alright, what do we got? Opener? Yeah, that sucks. Every time we do it, we're on a bad rhythm of it or something. Alright, then we combo. Combo again. Deal a lot of damage. Um, I think we use that. And then we actually use this to block properly. Because we're going to get hit hard next turn. We're down by one health. Fury. Times two attack. Ow. Alright, this one's going to be good. Now, I think this one... We just... Oh, I don't know. Alright, what we're going to do... We're going to go for a full attack first. Wait, can I not cast that? Oh, we're going to be in trouble here. Alright, 28 damage. Unfortunately, I think we just wait and gain our energy back. I don't know when this happens. I'm a bit confused at that. We're going to get feared. That's going to suck. And we take more damage. I was hoping we'd be able to kill him this turn. We might. Alright, let's do a combo hit. Draw our cards. Um, four turn cooldown. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is now sparkling. Does that mean the next one won't use combo? That is correct. Oh, we're so close to killing the guy. Do we keep our combos per turn? How many? What, what do we got here? Two. Okay, so we can just gain energy and we're fine. Alright, we lost one HP of damage. So this doesn't matter because if we kill him, he doesn't, this doesn't hurt us. Nice. Okay, that's all for the introduction mode. Well done on making it this far. Introduction mode was set up for new players to learn the game mechanics, how the deck manager and combat, combat works. 
You've reached the end of the line on this difficulty. Now that you've experienced the game, you can jump into normal mode or harder for the full game experience. Well, there we go. That's pretty good, pretty good timing. A little bit over 30 minutes. Total score, 6,000. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll probably, I'll, de I'll definitely get into this at some point. Uh, I've got quite a lot of videos going on. So we'll see how we go. Uh, but at some point, I will definitely jump into here. Sooner or later. Alright, everyone. So much, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vault of the Void. A deck building roguelike. Thank you for watching, and until next time, White Falcon, out. Look at that, just changes. <laughs>